dear students until now we assumed that a fan produces only a single input q is a function of k and l where q is the output of a single commodity but in the real world a fan produces many commodities that is a fan is not a single product of fan a fan is a multi product of fan so we examine now how a fan producing many products face lower cost for each product when compared to a situation in which a fan produce only one product that is we examine how joint production reduces cost compared to producing individual commodities we study this phenomena under the heading economies of scope economies of scope so so many firms in the real world produces more than one commodity because joint production always reduces cost so this phenomena is known as economies of cost now let us see a few examples for as an example to joint production a chicken farm produces chicken and x automobile company produces cars and trucks university produces teaching and research so these are related cases commodities which are related to one another also there will be joint production of commodities which are not physically related to each other what are these joint production enables a firm to enjoy cost advantage when it produces only one product this advantage results from one joint use of inputs joint use of inputs the same inputs can be used in the production of all the commodities say cars and trucks the same resources used for teaching and research same resources for chicken and x or joint marketing facilities joint marketing facilities economy joint marketing facilities or maybe you so you do to uh, cost saving common administration common administration common so joint production generally reduces the cost of producing each commodity maybe because of the joint use of inputs joint marketing facilities or common administration common administration now to explain this further we use what is known as the production possibilities curve or what is known as the 
product transformation curve product transformation curve or production possibilities curve that is to study the advantage of joint production we use the device product transformation curve and consider uh, a company which produces cars and tractors cars and tractors cars tractors cars and tractors and you know that cars and tractors are not typically produced in the same plants but they share managerial resources also they use the same skilled labor and also similar machinery so in the joint production of cars and tractors there will be economies of scope that is cost reduction cost advantage if uh, these two products are jointly produced and the managers of the company should decide how much of cars and tractors to be produced the company can produce cars only then there is no joint production tractors only again there is no joint production or a combination of both which will give you what is known as the product transformation curve the product transformation curve combination of cars and tractors that can be produced with the, the given inputs of capital labor machinery etc and this is one product transformation curve another one is like this say so o1 o1 o2 o2 etc and o2 o2 represents double amounts of tractors and cars compared to o1 and o1 now remember this this product transformation curve as it is familiar to you is concave to the origin concave to the origin negatively slope also because given the resources of capital and labor when the output of one commodity is increased the output of other will decrease it is concave also if it is a straight line joint production is not a, joint production is not a economically advantageous it will not give any gains in terms of cost advantage so that a company may either produce cars or tractors only but if it is concave if for example if initially the firm was producing oven cars and if it reduces it by half then the production of tractors will be more than half like this as you can see here so if and only if the product transformation curve is concave to origin joint production is feasible otherwise it will not be economically advantageous to produce many commodities together in terms of cost considerations now given this idea of joint production and the advantages associated with the joint production let us give a definition of what is meant by economies of scope economies of scope are present if it is cheaper for a single firm to produce various products jointly than for separate firms to produce the same products independently 
that is economies of scope are present if it is cheaper for a firm to produce various products jointly than for separate firms to produce the same product independently. And if a firm's joint output is less than that could be achieved by separate firms, then the production process involves diseconomies of scale. If joint production is less than individual production, diseconomies. If joint production is joint production results in more production than individual production, it is economies of scope. Then we define one more term the degree of economies of scope. The degree of economies of scope is defined as the extent to which there are economies of scope determined by studying the firm's costs. And to measure the degree of economies of scope, we ask what percentage of the cost of production is saved, what percentage of the cost of production is saved when two or more products are produced jointly than individually. When two or more products are produced jointly than individually and the equation for economies of scope is cost of Q1 plus cost of Q2 minus cost of Q1 Q2 divided by cost of Q1 Q2 where CQ1 is cost of producing the product Q1, CQ2 cost of producing the second product, CQ1 Q2 is the cost of joint production. If uh, the commodities can be added, then this can be written as C of Q1 plus Q2. If the commodities if the units of Q1 and Q2 can be added together, the C of Q1, Q2 can be written as C of Q1 plus Q2. Now, we say that with the economies of scope, joint cost is less than individual cost. That is, CQ1 plus CQ2 will be greater than CQ1 Q2, so that SC is greater than 0, SC is greater than 0. And if there is diseconomies of scope, SC is less than 0. And if SC is equal to 0, joint production is same as individual production. And in one textbook, this economies of scope is simply written as C Q1 Q2 less than C of Q1 plus C of Q2. That is the cost of joint production is less than the cost of production of each commodities individually. Now let us see what are the reasons for the origin of economies of scope. Uh, economies of scope arise when products can be produced with the common production facilities or other inputs, thus reducing the cost. As, a, as that we have discussed earlier, that, that is common production facilities or common resources, common marketing facilities, etc., or common management etc. can be used in the, in the case of joint products. That is the reason for economies of scope. Now, as examples, automobiles plus trucks can be produced in the motor vehicle industry by using the same assembly lines, same skilled workers, same management, etc. 
similarly a small commuter airline face lower costs if it provide cargo service also or you consider the rail, rail service it provides both cargo and passenger service it reduces the cost if only instead of providing only passenger service or cargo service uh, economies of scope also arises if a fm produces a second product utilizing the by product of the first product that reduces the cost also uh, it is possible that the firm can use better marketing facilities and better uh, utilization of common administration etc etc so these are the reasons for economies of scope and uh, before concluding remember one more point economies of scope is different from economies of scale economies of scale arises when the scale of operation increases economies of scale is associated with the large scale production only but economies of scope has nothing to do with the large scale production economies of scope arises even with the diseconomies of i mean diseconomies of scale economies of scope arises even when there is diseconomies of scale that is economies of scale economies of large scale production is not required for economies of scope because it has been observed that full service banking arose because of economies of scope by providing savings checking deposits loans currency exchange etc and economies of scope uh, it has been found that um, economies of scope arises in the case of banking facilities as banks provide many services simultaneously <coughs> and this is not due to economies of scale and in the case of banking industry economies of scale will be exhausted even for small banks with the 25 million deposits with the 25 million deposits that is even for a small bank economies of scale will be exhausted but there is cost advantage associated with the providing various services even when the size is very large or when the size is very low so it has nothing to do with the economies of scale sometimes economies of scope will not materialize at any level of output if such a thing happens then a big firm will be divided into specialized firms an example given in the book is that ITT an international conglomerate MNC divided into three companies an insurance company an industri an industrial product manufacturing business and a casino hotel and a sports company because of the absence of economies of scope associated with the providing these services so economies of scope simply means cost reduction associated with the joint production this arises due to joint use of inputs joint marketing facilities common administration and the like and the degree of economies of scope is given by this equation sc greater than 0 economies of scope sc less than 0 this economies of scope sc equal to 0 no economies of scope this can also be written like this that is the cost of joint production is less than the cost of individual production that is all about economies of scope